how are you doing survivors this is reaper and welcome back to my channel um finally in game after a very long extended maintenance um it's basically been a two-hour maintenance today it turned out to be a four-hour maintenance with the delay uh, but we finally managed to get in game um, the reason for this video is season two ended last night at reset um, i think all my players have been desperate to get in game today for rewards so i thought i've just managed to jump in game so i thought i'd jump on and do this as a recording for you guys um, so as you've seen on my other videos, it's been a very successful season for NWS. We have done amazingly well, we've dominated the season, um, and we've won the season overall. Um, so let's jump into some of our rewards. Actually, let's just jump into the final rankings. So the final rankings were made last night. As you can see, um, both the 980 clans, so we've got NWS and Wolf, both up there in rank 1 and 2. Bad then finished in 3rd, HML in 4th, GDN in 5th, Pops in 6th, and then a couple of small little clan dogs and Link there in 7th and 8th. Um, so, as I say, very, very successful season for a 980 all round. NWS has done absolutely amazing. My clan, I, I can't say my thanks to you a lot more than, more than I already have done. You've done absolutely amazing. This season has been very successful. Let's have a look at some of these rewards then. So, we've won ourselves some nice little rewards this morning. Let's jump in here and jump in system. Um, where are we to? So, let's start with the individual accommodation rewards. I finished within rank 21 to 50, so they're nice. Nice few bullets, um, definitely universal frags, absolutely perfect. Um, nice little reward there. Let's move on to clan accommodation. We did come first in the clan accommodation list, uh, so top rewards there, nice few speed ups, and again, universal fragments, which is absolutely amazing. It will help us all develop. Um, region, again, the region came top in accommodations, so we've got the top rank reward there, another nice load of resources and some keys. Um, and are we on? And the main one, here we go. Congratulations, your clan is the ultimate winner of Prosperity Power Rank of Season 2, Queen of the Day. Here's your reward. So these are the nice little rewards we get for um, finishing Rank 1. Nice little Town Hall skin. Lovely amount of Negan fragments. Lovely amount of Universal Credit fragments. Uh, sorry, Universal fragments. Um, so yeah, we have achieved ourselves some lovely rewards here as help all the clan. Um, not only in NWS, but what with Wolf finishing second as well. It'll help those guys amazingly, all these rewards that we've earned through finishing this season so well. So let's give them a claim. Uh, we've also got a new season about to open message. Uh, new season about to start. You can check your opening times and opponent information on new season through the in-game interface. Um, I'm guessing this is just a generic message for the simple reason. If we now go into here, we are now matching opponents. Um, uh, we are assuming we are going to get a force region merge now because um, the end of season two is finished. Um, I say assuming purely because we're one of the most active regions within our bracket. So I'm hoping we are still going to get merged and get someone merged in with us. Um, but we're having to wait and see. I don't think we have had anything come out. Oh, I have just got my end of season rankings for the merits as well. We'll give that a claim. Nice little rewards there. Um, so no, nothing about our force merge yet. Just going to quickly reclaim everything else we got there, just so it's done and out of the way. Um, so yeah, hopefully details of our Force Merge will come out soon. Let's just have a quick look at some of the rankings though before we finish. Um, because we may lose these other regions once this actual S2 closes. So just having a quick look at the rankings come the end of the season. we got TR up there with 99 million power um, in bad. Absolutely great to be up there with that amount of power. But in total honesty in this season, we have heard or seen nothing from TR. Um, so it, it appears to be a player that is building their account. But we have seen no action, nothing at all from this player. We've got Inter down there, Inter 777, um, leader of HM, HML, 92 million. We've got Sting just beneath with 88. Um, these are a little bit unrealistic right now for the simple reason I think a lot of these players have claimed their rewards and obviously they've used their rewards. So it has bounced their power a little bit compared to yesterday. Um, I've dropped by only one rank and I was at rank 8 yesterday. Um, but just go through, we've got Sting there from GT GDN in third, Mr. Showoff from NWS in fourth, Wolfen from, it says NWS, he is actually from Wolf, he's only spending a bit of time with us because he claimed first um, first stage ranking rewards, he's there in fifth, um, and then you can see the rest going down there. Just jumping onto kills as well, um, Dead980, he is our absolute trooper when it comes to kills, smashing it with 21 million kills. Um, again, we have had some fighting this season. It hasn't been a majorly exciting season. Yes, we've done some fighting, but we have dominated it. So a lot of these clans, not to be too big-headed, have run away when we have come to fight. So we haven't quite got the kills that we were hoping for. Um, but again, it is looking better than what it was at the start of Season 2. Lost Sim Wounded. Obviously, we've still got Dead980 up there. That's expected because he's got the most kills. 
Town Halls, we've got no one yet with a Town Hall 25. Um, a few Town Hall 24s there at the top. Um, I'm here at rank 22, so I've still got a level 22 Town Hall just on the verge of going up to 23, just waiting for my square to finish upgrading. Compact Survivors are starting to look really smart throughout this season. Um, still no big, massive um, formations created. I've managed to cling on about the mid 5, 6, 7 rank all the way through. I have recently changed over to the Whispers. I actually reset my hometown here. I've now gone over to the Whispers purely because I got my melee fires up to the level I needed. Technologies, ignore my rank. I am slacking. Um, but you see there again, very similar names all in the top rankings there. Same with recruits. All going to be very, very similar names. Ice Queen there at the top. Um, leader of bad. She's done very, very well with her account. Again, she has pumped her account um, massively throughout the season. Um, but unfortunately they haven't had a great success bad they did have something quite nasty happen to a mid in the season um so they they did struggle and unfortunately their region has died a little bit vehicles as well we have got a couple of swaps within region um i don't think anyone's really pumped them massively um, but until we get all the additional things for vehicles to be unlocked it is hard to pump these as big as we'd like animals again we got a few big animals in region um, I'm struggling with my dog still, not quite got a dog that I'm happy with, so I haven't leveled anything up yet, that's why my rank is quite low, um, but hopefully soon I will get a dog I'm happy with. Development <coughs> Survivors, um, again, all very similar names in there, all doing really, really well, and I'm not going to bother going on to these last one guys, because they're completely irrelevant. Um, so for a season two, as you can see, the rankings aren't majorly competitive. They're not huge rankings. Um, we don't have any massive players in this season. All the players we have got in this season are. There's a few big players. We've got no serious wells, which has been an absolute luxury for this season. Um, S3, I'm sure, will bring more bigger competitors. It is going to bring stronger regions. There is a few regions around us that I am a bit concerned about. If we do get matched with them, we are going to struggle. Um, but we'll worry about that once we know. Um, so finally, just on this video, I'll just show you the final map. Um, again, NWS area, we are quite left alone. Um, we, as I say, we have dominated the season. When we entered the season, we, we certainly were not ahead of all the other regions. It was quite a fair... We, we had more activity in region. Um, our region 980 is very, very active. I did bring a lot of players into 980 with me when I started. Um, and then obviously we had the normal flow of players into the region. So we did bolt the region out quite big compared to other regions. Um, but in all honesty, come the end of this season two, we are the only region left that is fully active. All the other regions, unfortunately, have died off through throughout the season. Some clans might blame this on NWS. Um, I don't think that we played nasty. I think we played very, very fair, and I have been told this by a lot of leaders. Um, HML, unfortunately, they did have a bad bunch of people in there that actually infiltrated. Uh, let me get the region right, 978. Um, they actually infiltrated the whole region and actually became region chief within there and it caused utter mayhem. So 978 and 977 are virtually dead clans now because of the issue, uh, dead regions now because of the issues they had in the start of the season. Which is a shame, um, but these group of players, they came in, they caused the issue, they've now buggered off to other regions. I reckon it's absolutely disgusting, the tactics they played were absolutely vile. I'm not going to mention any names because I know the certain leader does follow my YouTube channel and I know he is in other regions. Um, you know who you are mate, I reckon you're absolutely vile with what you've done with this region, you need to get away from this game and go find another game, you've gone over to this other region, tried the same again, it isn't working, admit it mate, your tactics don't work, but anyway, we'll move on from that, as I say, I'm not going to mention a name, but that was a little bit of a moan, um, but we'll leave it there guys, so overall, as I said, the season has been absolutely amazing, we're all now going to sit and wait to see what the merge brings us, if we are going to get merge, um, and then see what season 3 brings us. So anyone watching this is from NWS, this is time now to make use of your rewards, pump your accounts and let's prepare for what will be a more challenging season than season three. If we stick together actively and our organisation and cooperation, if we manage to keep all that together like we have in S2, we will do amazing in S3, but I will assure you all it will be a, a bigger challenge. There is going to be bigger clans, bigger regions that we are going to be up against. Um, so finally, a huge, huge congratulations to everyone in NWS and everyone in Wolf finishing rank one and rank two for our region is absolutely amazing um, keep up all the good work guys anyone that isn't within our clan or within our region thank you very much for following our progress throughout s2 the progress will continue into s3 i'll keep pumping the content out there so you guys can see but as always guys if you haven't already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button but for now as always keep on surviving and i'll catch up with you soon take it steady survivors